Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to show you how you can look at your Baza chart and detect whether or not your root chakra is blocked. So the chakras can all be related to a natal chart, to your birth chart in Baza astrology. And so the root chakra is the chakra that is mostly responsible for our sense of safety, security. Um, and obviously that comes with um, a sense of having enough with an abundance mindset. So if you're struggling with that, or if you're constantly coming from a, a point of scarcity, then very often it does mean that your root chakra is blocked. Now, whether or not this is um, your default position, whether or not you're actually born with this block, this is something you can detect in your Baza chart. And today I'm going to show you how. All right. So the first thing, obviously, you need to actually plot your Baza chart. So you can go to this link. I will also put it in the notes to this video. And then you just key in your date and time of birth. Now, for this particular uh, exercise, the time of birth is actually very important because the root chakra um, is analyzed by looking at your birth hour, not the year, the month, or the day. Yeah, so you need to key in uh, the date and time of birth, even if it's just approximate. Yeah, just put in your time of birth. Now, um, what we are looking at or what we're mostly curious about is then this pillar here. Yeah, this is what we call the hour pillar. So once you have plotted your chart, you will get something like this. We focus on the on the uh, pink or rose colored part of this chart. And within the chart, we are looking at the hour pillar, right? And within that hour pillar, don't worry about the Chinese characters. What we are curious about are the elements. There will be one element on top and one at the bottom. Yeah, there will be a stem element and a branch element. So this is what you need to take note of. Here we have metal on top and water at the bottom. Now, you don't need to worry too much about whether it's at the top or at the bottom. Just take notes, note of the two elements that you find here, regardless of whether they are in the stem or in the branch. That doesn't matter for this exercise at all. Just check what elements do you have. Maybe both are the same, perfectly fine, that happens. Or they are like here, one metal, one water, maybe there's one wood, one fire, maybe earth. Yeah, there will be uh, one of the five elements or two of the five elements. So check what you have here um, without worrying about the Chinese character or any of the Chinese, um, uh, Chinese names for these stems and branches. So just the elements. And once you have that, we are looking at this one here. So a chakra block, uh, manifests itself in an elemental countering. Now, what does that mean? We do have, for those who are very, very new to Chinese astrology or to Baza, we do have five countering relationships. Meaning, if you have fire and metal in those, um, if you see fire and metal in the hour, then there is a countering relationship. Yeah, as you saw in the chart, there was a water and a metal. Um, so you check what kind of elements do you have there. If it's fire and metal, then you have a countering and re relationship, and this indicates a block. If you have metal and wood, it's also a block because the two counter each other. If you have wood and earth, again, that's a countering relationship. It indicates a root chakra block. Earth counters water, again, this in the hour pillar can represent a root chakra block, or you can have water countering fire element. There are only five different types of counterings, only when you have these. Now, if you remember the chart that we just looked at, we had a water and a metal. There is no, these are not countering. Water and metal, they are not in a countering relationship. Therefore, there is no block. Only if you have one of these five uh, relationships. So maybe you would have fire at the top and metal at the bottom, or metal at the top and fire at the bottom. Yeah, here maybe you would have metal at the top and wood at the bottom, or wood at the top and fire at the bottom. 
yeah so there's only five different types of counterings and these are the pairings so if, if you see any of these five pairings in your hour pillar then that constitutes a countering and therefore we would have a block now again here as you can see um this up here we have metal, down here we have water. Since the two do not uh, belong to one of the five categories that I just showed you, there is no block here. So the root chakra, which is indicated by this number one, is uh, unblocked, it's free. Yeah. However, if you do have one of these five different, uh, one of the five different countering relationships here, then that root chakra would be blocked. Now, for example, in this particular case, let's say water at the bottom, but maybe on top you would have an earth element. Yeah, so maybe up here, let me use a different color so that you can actually see this. Maybe up here you would have earth. Yeah, I hope you can read this. So earth and water, they're in a countering relationship, therefore there would be a block, right? Or let's say you have metal up here and maybe this one here would be fire. Then again, you would have a countering relationship. In this particular case, in this instance, no block. So you look at the relationship between the top element and the bottom element. Now, if you do see a countering relationship, an elemental countering, then you um, experience a block in the root chakra. And this very often manifests in situations where you're just constantly feeling threatened or you have trust issues. Everything is a matter of survival. And um, everything that relates to safety and security and stability is affected. And of course, because all of these aspects relate to money, this then also translates into a wealth block. Yeah, so it may be that you don't have an abundance uh, mindset, for example, or you have um, a lot of issues trusting people around money. So the symptoms that you may experience when you have a block like this in your natal chart, obviously everything, uh, you come from a, a point of scarcity. Yeah, there's not enough. There's not enough for everyone. So um, you need to fight for whatever you can get. It's a constant struggle for survival. It's a constant fight to get enough. Yeah, this obviously then creates a lot of stress. And especially when it comes to money yeah there's a lot of stress about having enough money having on enough savings and when you are constantly stressed about money very often you become a workaholic yeah because you think the more i work the more money i make and then it's never enough so you keep on working 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 you become a workaholic and you kind of ignore everything else in your life um you also um it's it's a it's a weird kind of situation where even though you yourself are constantly fighting for money or constantly um, striving to make more and more and more, you see those or you may see those who do have a lot of money as very greedy people, even though you attempt to be like that. So somehow money is just never really uh, associated with anything positive. And so the moment you have any money, you put that immediately into savings. It's very difficult for you to just enjoy money, to enjoy what, to enjoy what is there and to spend a little bit on yourself, making yourself feel good. Now, obviously, trust then also becomes an issue, especially when it comes to money related issues. It can lead to a lot of arguments about money in a relationship. And um, people who experience a block in the root chakra or who see this kind of elemental countering in their hour pillar in the Baza chart, they uh, are very sensitive to threats in the sense that everything uh, is seen as a threat. Everything that um, you don't like is seen as threatening your lifestyle or threatening your existence or threatening your financial safety, yeah? Um, so this makes it very, very difficult to actually relax and to be authentic, yeah, to be yourself. 
because you're constantly trying to be something or someone that you may not really be, but it will help you to make more money. So those are generally the symptoms. You may not experience all of them if you have this particular um, block, but certainly some of these symptoms you will feel at, the, at various strengths, yeah? Now, the causes for this, uh, for this particular block, very often it's actually something that um, you have brought in either from a past life or that has been given to you or handed down to you from your parents. So if your parents constantly told you that there's not enough money, that we need to save, we cannot spend, and from a very early age on, you already um, have a scarcity mindset. And this leads to very, very limiting beliefs, to a lot of limiting beliefs about money and career, where, um, you know, you can't relax. You need to work. Otherwise, it's going to be a big disaster. Now, I'm not telling you not to work, yeah, but um, being a workaholic is not always the best. So um, you just constantly tell yourself you can only really make money when, uh, when you work hard. Yeah, so that's a limiting belief. And um, it would be much, much healthier to say, well, um, I can enjoy work and at the same time actually make money. Yeah, I don't always have to work hard. There's also a fear of abandonment and a sense of not belonging anywhere. Yeah, you are, there's a feeling of, of or a fear of rejection. Now, we all have this fear of rejection or fear of abandonment to, to a certain degree. But when the root chakra is seen as blocked in your hour pillar, then this becomes very, very prominent. And um, it's the cause of this block can also come from or stem from you constantly, constantly having to pretend to be someone or something that you're not. Yeah. So maybe again, that may have come down from the parents where you are um, brought up to feel a certain way or to look a certain way or to behave a certain way that comes that totally goes against your nature but you have to do this to be rewarded yeah or to be treated nice or otherwise they maybe they tell you well if you don't behave that way we're not going to give you pocket money or we're not going to love you anymore yeah this kind of um pretending to be someone or something that you are not and then of course uh, one of the symptoms of the root chakra uh, block is a lack of authenticity. Yeah? If you're brought up to pretend to be someone completely different um, for fear of being rejected, then you have a problem being authentic. Now, what, we, what do we do about this? So once you actually determine or once you see that there is a root chakra block in your natal chart already present, the strategy is to resolve this particular block or to, to just soften it a little bit or, or making it or minimizing it is to develop clear financial goals. Yeah, realistic financial goals. A lot of those with that kind of block, either they, they say, oh, well, I will never be a millionaire or they set themselves financial goals that are so unrealistic that it's very difficult, if not even impossible to achieve them. So it's important that when you see this in your Baza chart, develop financial goals, realistic financial goals, and actually do this with someone who um, may be very good at financial planning, who can look at your resources, at your finances, from a more um, objective point of view, a little bit more neutral, yeah, because obviously when we are looking at it, we are emotionally attached to the outcome. So we may not be the best people to, uh, to draw up those goals. So develop financial goals and then create a spending plan, not just a savings plan. We all have a savings plan, yeah, or most of us do, but, um, very few of us have actually a spending plan, especially if your root chakra is blocked, you have a lot of issues spending money because that is seen as frivolous. You can't do that. This is terrible. We need, there's anyway not enough money, so let's not spend, right? So coming from that scarcity mindset, but by creating a conscious spending plan, you can actually overcome this limitation and this limiting belief. Um, it also helps to do grounding meditations 
or maybe just yoga, for example. Um, if you're not good at meditating, go into nature, maybe go hiking, for example, go for a walk, or walk barefoot on grass or on earth or on sand if you're at the beach. That's also a grounding exercise, yeah? It brings you back to the essentials, yeah? It, it shows you that you are actually grounded, you are safe. And of course, explore the cause of the fear, check where that fear comes from, and then actually consciously face that fear, whether you're doing that uh, by means of therapy or with your own self help tools is entirely up to you. But the moment we see that there is a block in your root chakra just based on your Baza chart, we know that this is a, something that you need to work on throughout your life. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is a little bit of a new way to interpret a Baza chart. Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know. My contact details are in the notes below. And um, yeah, please like, comment, share this video, and I will see you soon.